Hello everyone, do what the will to show be the whole do. Today we're gonna show you what's on my bookshelves. Uh, this was one of the questions that I received on uh, on Instagram, and well, let's see what's there. Join me. All right, so we're going towards the main bookshelf. There you go. This is where I keep all my uh, my my hardbacks. Uh, and you'll see there's quite something here. So, I'm hopeless I can open this thing here. So what do we have here? We start with a full edition of the Equinox. This is the Keep Silence edition. I used to have a full Visor 72 edition, but I sold it when this came out. Uh, it's a fantastic edition. Uh, I should really get it. <laughs> it's like the Scott Wilde did a fantastic job with it. Then we have some Golden Horde. A very old and beautiful edition of uh, Mr. Sumer and Akkad, Gnostic Gospels. Let me move this here. Then we have. Oh, I never get how to get this out. Then we have some Scarlet Imprint. In fact, uh, with the exception of the Game of Saturn, all the other titles, I am actually selling them right now. So if you're interested, uh, let me know. Um, they're good books, especially Frater Acker ones, are really, really good. Um, I'm just moving on uh, and selling them. This is also an interesting one. The Reign of Saturn. It's a very good translation. It came out last year. If you get it. And what I have on the top shelf here uh, the goat. Very important. And here we have some. Uh, you might have noticed that these books are not. You know, they're, they're, I mean, there's an idea of, you know. What, what types of books are the subjects, but it's more like I just the shelves are just static, so I just had to put some books together. Here we have some folklore, some legends. This is a very nice one from the Library of Avalon in Glastonbury, British Goblins. Um, then moving on to the second shelf, there you go. Unfortunately, I won't be able to pull these books off because, as you can see. You have to trap them in inside, but you have like Diabolical by Scarlet Imprint, that's for sale as well. Azoetia, uh, 2002 Sethos edition. Uh, some Gemma Gary, two Arbatel, one is mine, one's my partner. Uh, Chaldean Oracles, because of course. Sean Woodward, uh, like important um, text, key of the Hoodoo Kingdom. This is the um, Hellfire edition. Um, of the book. I'm one of the few lucky ones who actually got the, the Hellfire Edition book, so, you know, I'm lucky, I suppose. Um, of course, we have Ouroboros Press, Monas Hieroglyphica, fantastic book. Uh, you should definitely get it. Uh, one of the best, maybe like the absolute best uh, book from uh, Ouroboros. Then we have some German books, as you can see here. Um, Satanisca Magia by Gregorius Agregorius of the Fraternity Saturni. Then what we have here? We have some Telema, <laughs> well, a lot of Telema as you can see. Uh, we have beautiful edition of Pyramidos by Matichak, Amor Divina, but it's every secret uh, OTO um, material is here. Arilio in a beautiful edition. I mean, these are all, again, uh, Hellfire Edition uh, books, and uh, I'm again one of the lucky few who ever got them, including, I mean, also the Book of Thought, also the Genesis Liberal, with their essays uh, um, towards truth, 93 publishing edition of Liber um, Aleph. This is, I cannot really take it off, this is Ararita, which is quite an interesting study of Liber 36. All the holy books of Telema uh, in, uh, again, Elfair Publishing. I mean, again, I'm lucky, I suppose. Then, oh, we have here so many books. Some, some Telema, as you can see. Uh, some old, some new, some not so good. I'm not gonna go deeper into that, but I still have them for reference. Then, down. Tolkien in Italian, all of it. Gnostic Bible, you should have it if you're interested in Gnosticism. Uh, There's Morals and Dogma. This, like, I think that, that one is from 1960 or something, 1940, I don't remember. 
These are very two very beautiful University Books editions of uh, Arthur Eder White. White is a very difficult read, but you know those books look gorgeous. And this one is Yogi Publications. Again, white. white. Then we have a little bit of <laughs> this is my Black Letter Press uh, section. There's some other interesting things around here. SS Me Revised Fundamental Reading. These are fundamental readings if you're interested in, uh, um, well, Peter Lavenda, really. Uh, I can, I can, I mean, you really should read the trilogy. Uh, Lovecraft Code, Dunwich, and Starry Wisdom, they're amazing. And The Dark Lord, and Tantra Calvinist. All of Peter Lavenda, they're good. These are more generic. Some Masonic, some in Italian. This is a classic one, well, no, the by Davis. More Father Acker. And then finally, those are generic, as you can see, a little bit of tarot. Some generic titles there. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see them. And finally, well, we have, over here, we have a couple of interesting things, actually, should not do that. We have, ah, there you go, Secret Rituals of the OTO, 1972, and The Mystery of the Numbers by Robert Stein, Bob Stein, one of the most interesting, uh, you know, how do you say, like, explorations of Dilemma. And then, Going into <laughs> kind of ground, most of it. The other is downstairs, and that's it. Uh, that's my upstairs uh, bookshelf.